And welcome back in the studio. Joining me for Fall for the Arts, it is back in the county, is Sandy Greenhut, and we are just gauging over the newspaper for this morning's edition, and my goodness, is there a lot going on. So Sandy, tell me a little bit about what this festival is all about and okay. what is going on for this I weekend. will certainly tell you. It's Fall for the Arts, okay. and it starts today very today. Today. And it runs Saturday and Sunday. And these are some of the activities you can look at and see in the Summit Daily News. Uh, we have a cover. Uh, and it's really cute, I think, because I got 14 in my 24 organizations to pose in costume, mm -hmm. okay? And so you'll have to figure out who everybody is in this Are you picture. in this photo? Oh, yes, I am. And nobody can figure out who I am. I think I have uh, an idea. <laughs> I'm, I'm not telling at all. And then on the back are all the organizations, uh, members of Arts for the Summit, which sponsors this, okay? And so today we have, I'll just open this up so your audience maybe could see this. Uh, today we start off at 1.30 with a lecture on quilt. At, in Breckenridge and then we move over to the uh, Silverthorne outlet stores where we're going to have a band concert mm -hmm. and if it rains it'll be in the Red Village okay which I think it's going to do today and if it doesn't rain then it's in the Blue Village okay. and there'll be an attend and then at four o'clock in Frisco uh, we're going to have a presentation by Elmer uh, Koneman and who's doing 24 opera houses around the world and uh, then it's a wine and cheese first at three and then at four and then at seven is our piece Still resistance, our big one, and it includes which I maybe you can get this it's the dancer commotion dancers, the summit community orchestra, the uh, summit choral society, and an art gallery. And they're all wow. uh, performing free at seven o'clock. And you can come to Keystone because all the restaurants are doing two for one specials for us. Okay, Excellent. and this happens to be a picture in, in the daily of the some of the commotion dancers that are on. Saturday starts off bright and early, okay, with women of watercolor in the Red Village. Uh, and then we go right to painting the mural on the fence next to the moose jaw. Not the moose jaw, fence, <laughs> next to the moose Got jaw. It. And Janet Lee Litch is in charge of that, Summit County Arts Exhibit Committee. And she's going to be outlining it today. She already primed it and I sent notices around to all the schools so we can have little kids painting on the bottom big people on the top and we hope to finish if we don't finish then we'll do it uh, on Sunday uh, and then we go into uh, a, the Children's a Mountaintop Children's Museum is going to do a free craft show. Two o'clock is a form, uh, putting it together by Lake Dillon Theater. And it's free and you'll find out how they do mount a production. Nice. Uh, so, and, and also at two o'clock at the Silverthorne Library, there is a puppet show and it's called uh, Hair Raising Tales. Okay, and it's for mm -hmm. the kids and the kids will love it. And then at four o'clock, we have two events. Uh, one is the uh, Three Rivers Piano Club, and they're going to be have 16 students there at the uh, Dillon Community Church playing, uh, doing a recital. These are advanced piano students, so, Got you it. know, and uh, music teachers from around the county. At 4 o'clock in Silverthorne Rec Center, we're going to have Marianne Golan, and she's going to be talking about Summit Cowboys, which is about the lower blue. Okay. And then, of course, uh, in the evening, the uh, Lake Dillon Theater is performing uh, Marry Me a Little. We have the Dillon Amphitheater on Saturday is putting on a special production for us called um, Something Underground. Something Underground. That's actually what it's called. There you go. <laughs> Something Underground. <laughs> Sunday, we're just moved right into it with Women of Watercolor, and then we're having a portrait painter at the Red Village and at the Outland Malls. Two o'clock is the big recital called Sagebrush uh, Strings, and it's at the Lord of the Mountain Church. It's put on some of public radio, and uh, then in the evening is Alpha Glow chamber. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Take a breath. Now, obviously, there's a lot going on in the county all weekend long. It's Fall for the Arts. Where can somebody find details? You can find it by going to our website, okay. which is fallforthearts.org. Or R call me at 468-7557. Okay. And the phone number's on the screen right there. And that's the website, fallforthearts.org. And it's that simple. You can have a great weekend here in the county, in any town in the county, in fact, and enjoy some great uh, arts of all nature. So oh, well, absolutely. This year, A Basin bit. is in. They're doing a clam Excellent. bake with music. You That's, know, so sounds like a deal to me. Yeah. And again, it's also printed in the newspaper this morning, so you can see the whole schedule through the front cover, mm -hmm. and uh, it's all there. So it sounds like a great week weekend. So, thank Sandy, you. thank you so much thank for coming you. in this morning sharing I'm with excited. us. I'm excited. I'm excited as well. I'm going to have to take some of it in myself. Good. And we have lodging and restaurant specials, so ah, don't forget that. Know. So check it out. The website is on the screen there and also in the paper. And, well, we're going to take another quick break here and keep things moving on our Friday edition of Summit Sunrise. We'll be right back.